Hello, good evening, Ophelia. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, Adita. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, teacher. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. How's your headache? Very well. <laughs> okay. Um, much better um, than yesterday, teacher. Perfect, much better than mm -hmm. yesterday. Did you take any pills or? Yes. Did you did you take any pill? Like yeah. dolo, dolofine or something, pill? Um, el, no, well, but yes, um, Panadol. Mm. Mm. Does, that, does that happen very often to you? Do you have migraines? Repeat. Does that happen very often? Um, you know, how often, how often do you get a migraine? How often do you get a migraine? Mm -hmm. How often? Once a month? Twice a month? Rattly sometimes? Um, um, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. But, okay. um, and, um, in some occasions, uh huh. In some occasions, este, um, seguido. Often, more often. frequently. Often. So yeah. sometimes it's more okay. more frequent, more frequent than others. Yes. yes. But today is very much very much very well very well i'm doing well you're doing very okay. well okay mm -hmm. i'm glad to hear that are you still working ada yes yes from home yes okay that's good or do you work together with gloria uh, yes teacher. but mm -hmm. in in the case in in, in Re, re, regarding Gloria? Uh -huh. re, regarding yes. Gloria? Uh -huh. and, uh, at the office. Work. Uh, she works at the office. Yes. Oh. Office. But mm -hmm. in my case, in the, in the home. In the home. From home. home. From yes. home. You work from home. home. WFH. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. It's really good. Okay, how many are we? Did we finish yesterday the present? Yeah, we finished, right? Yes. We finished with the, the last group. All the groups came to the front. It was a nice topic, actually. Okay, let me just check something really quick. Tonight, um, we're supposed to talk about paired conjunctions, either or, whether or, whether you like it or not, <laughs> whether you like it or not, you must be here, you must learn, you must be in class. Okay, so we are 11. And today's Thursday, 
September 29th. And tomorrow, September is over. We start October, three more months, and bye bye 2022. My God. As time goes by. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing sometimes for your classmates. Hello, Carlita, how are you tonight? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, Carla, uh, do you think there is good music nowadays? No. No? <laughs> I think, yes, there are good music, but there are a uh, kind, uh, there are a many option, a uh, kind of music. The new generation? Yes, yes, yes. Do we, can we say that there is good music, <laughs> but not good musicians? <laughs> For me, uh, the best uh, all music are 80, 90 music. 80s and but, 90s. Mm -hmm. Yes, but now in this generation, have good music, for example. Um, but Bonnie. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, uh, Dua Lipa, for example, have a Yeah, dance. although, you know what? Dua Lipa has a lot of good songs. They're mm -hmm. very, very sticky. You know, you you get you get going with the rhythm, but many songs are like reduce. How do we call this? Re, re, remakes. They're remakes of, of old music. Yes, uh, she uh, she she is very nice remake. Yeah, mm -hmm. she, she does very nice remakes. But Bad Bunny is out in my list. <laughs> out of my list. He's out of my list. Yeah. Yes. I haven't heard one single. Well, actually, yeah. The one that he made in English. I, I don't remember the rhythm, but it's very sticky. That that I mean, that's the whole thing, you know. Nowadays, nowadays they don't write the songs first they get the rhythm they get the music first through the synthesizer you know and the mixers and all these consoles and then they come up with the lyrics uh, back in the days <laughs> remember back in the days elton john for example uh, yeah. They used to compose the songs first, Michael, uh, George Michael. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I I was listening to music because um, Sunday I practiced my English with, with some, uh, tried some <laughs> the, the music, uh, for example, I like very much Adele is Adele Adele yes my ex-girlfriend yeah yes and what? I like to my other ex-girlfriend uh, Katy Perry <laughs> yes Katy, Katy Perry have a good music and like the the lyrics of her the lyrics song. lyrics yes. uh -huh. lyrics lyrics their lyrics, lyrics. lyrics yeah um, the fourth blonde, no fourth blonde, is a good band too. What? Which one? For no fourth blonde, blonding, no fourth blonding, no four non blondes, four non blondes, four yeah. non blondes. Yeah, what's up? Is, is that what's a new? Up? That's a what's new. Up? What's up? The song. What's no, 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 no. What's, what's going, going, going on? on? What's, what's going, going on? on? Yeah, four yeah. non blondes. Or non or non yeah. yeah, but that's an old group. I mean, an yeah, old band. An old yeah, that was yes. a, a one hit wonders. Those are one hit wonders. Yes. Let's uh, talk. Yes. About, let's talk about that I topic. Okay. 
One hit wonders. Uh, four non blondes. Do you remember? Um, oh my God! I swear. What was this? That that's the the only song that that, that they were able to to get to the top. So they, they were extreme. And sing. Oh, extreme, extreme. Yeah, more than words. Okay, we have three. Let's see. Voice to men. Voice to men had no, very good songs, but they they had more, many many songs. Um, yeah. Nelly. The, this song, no matter no, what I do, dilemma. I think that's a one hit wonder as well. That's like the best song, and then what happened to them, right? And so on. There are so many one hit wonders. Okay, anyways, music is very important for you to always be listening to music, no matter what, because if you're upset, music can calm, can calm you down, yeah? Vanilla Ice. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Only one ice, ice Just baby. one song, yeah, just one song. I was reading today that Julio uh, passed away. What? Yeah, really? Julio. Yeah, that, when? Um, uh, to the, yesterday what uh, yeah yeah today i i i see a post of a friend of mine oh my and, God. What? Yeah, and i look it in the wikipedia and yes september 28th yeah coolio gangsta gangsta paradise yeah no gangsta yeah. paradise yes yeah. 59 59 yeah, years 59 old 59 years old yeah as I said, I was so sad. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I didn't realize that George Michael had passed away. Oh, you need yeah. because but, but that was because I wasn't home. I, I was not divorced, but separated back then, back in those days in 2016 when he passed away. And then I came home and a few months later I saw the news and I was like, nah. Yeah, it was oh difficult. my god. That that was really sad. I cried. Just like <laughs> Gustavo Cerati when Gustavo passed yes. away. That was shocking. That was really shocking. The way they passed away. That was so sad. Anyway, so you see you can talk about any topic. It's okay. Hey, that's a nice cop, Gabriela. That's a nice cop. Big. <laughs> <laughs> a big one. Do you like coffee? No, it's chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Okay. Okay. That's good. She has an, who has a nice voice? And I tell me. Adel teacher. Adel. Oh, oh, yes. I remember she used to sing me in my ear, you know. I like Lady Gaga. And then she said, this is over from the big. And I was like, okay, it's over. Fine. Bye. But now teacher, a oh. lot of singers use auto -tune. I knew it you were going to say that yeah auto tune oh my god in real voice bad teacher it sucks I know okay let me do the attendance and we can move on we have a lot to cover let's say or have fun let's see Ada Patricia Linares Galdames present thank you Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores Present. Hey, welcome. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Okay. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Hey, welcome. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Julia, 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 is not here tonight. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Here teacher. Very good. <laughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. 
Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Oh, I, I can see you. Yeah. On, you're on the bus. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. No. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susana. Ya voy otra vez. Susana. No. Not here. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy, 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 not today. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Wow, that's odd. That's odd. Teacher, so I'm eating. Okay, good. Not a problem for. Okay, so another way of saying that, that's not normal. It's not usual. That's, and I use it a lot. <laughs> that's odd. That's odd. But that's a little bit British. A little bit British. That's odd. That is so weird, right? He's not here today. Okay. So tonight we have to talk about uh, pair conjunctions, specifically about either or, whether or. Um, I think I, no, I, I thought I'd send you some um, slides yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna try to send them to you right away. So either or, we use uh, either or, for uh, pairing two things, you know, when only one is true. Nos ocupamos para aparejar dos cosas, o sea, comparar dos cosas cuando solamente una es verdad. So, for example, either John or Paul will win the race. Either Paul or John will win the race. So, two options and only one is true. Interesting. So, either the subject or the other subject. And then we have the auxiliary or a verb. Most likely you will have an auxiliary all the time. Let me take a quick screenshot of these rules. I found this, this chart is very interesting, very descriptive, self-explanatory. There you go. So that's either or. So again, two options, only one is true. Can you make up an example? Can you make up an example? Come up with an example, another example? Does this work to give options? Yes. Either you eat your dinner or or you go to bed, right? Okay, another one, either you study English or you don't, you don't, oh my God, you don't, no, no, or Oh my God, mm -hmm. I, I forget the idea. Or you won't learn. Yeah, I'm going to say don't. <laughs> yeah, you you don't. want, want. You uh -huh. want, yeah, you want to learn. ¿Cómo corrijo eso, Roselena? Today I, yeah, today I was reading about my weakness. <laughs> no, do the homework. Now yeah. you know. Now, you know, after the class, do five yeah. verbs using will. Positive, negative question, positive, negative question. Will, will, will. So you won't yeah. forget. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's either or, two options. Somebody else, another example, another sentence. Mm. Can I say either you're studying or you won't 
pass the exam. Yeah, two options. Okay. Weather is not there. I thought weather or was in that chart, but no. I'll look for something else for you as well. Okay, so mainly we have either or, two options. What else? Another example with either or? Maybe we can go to either to the beach or to the mountain. Okay. Either we go to the beach or the mountain. That's true. Two options, either we go to the beach or the mountain. Another one. Your vacation will be either first week October or two week October. Of October, of October, that's right. Of, of October, October, of October. Of October. Of October. Yeah. I'm sorry uh, if you hear somebody coughing on my back, but Max has some sort of, um, I don't know how to call it. Is an infection on the bronchios? Something like bronchitis? Bronchitis? It's not normal. I mean, that's the first time I, I see a dog coughing like... <laughs> Really bad. I never have um, seen. I've never heard. No, I never had seen. Seen. I've never seen. Uh huh. Oh, I never seen a, a dog. A dog. Do with that. <laughs> oh, coughing, coughing. Yeah, yeah no. it's really, it's really weird. And you know what? I, I, I just spent like forty-five dollars on mm. on amoxicillin for dogs. Really? And, yeah, and, and syrup and some syrup for the cough. It's crazy. Oh it smells like eucalyptus. Maybe, really? Maybe he has some fever too. <laughs> no, he no, he didn't have fever. No, no he was okay. Oh my god! It's just a cough. I uh, think that it was un uncomfortable. You know what's funny? You know what's ironic? Mm -hmm. It's very. It's an irony for a husky to get sick here in El Salvador because of the cold weather. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, are, they, mm. they are used to the, the cold No, weather. they are made, they are made ah, for- they are made for, yeah. For the eyes, right? But For the eyes, yeah, imagine. Right, is, I walk a terrier. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, let's continue. So I'm sending you right now to your WhatsApp some exercises so you can work on them. We're gonna start with these little uh, drawings, these little um, exercises. Hey, I I am confused with uh, related to the the last unit. We hmm. we were study about this pair conjunction. Pair conjunctions, uh huh. The, um, the use. The this conjunction is different in in this moment. It's different? Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. It's it the same. A... It's just uh today we have to review either or okay. and review. we also have to okay. cover whether or which we barely okay. we barely see before, we barely saw before. Okay. Whether or it's a review. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm taking okay. advantage. If you notice on the on the little charts that I send you, the little page, I section eight the exercises on A and B and C. You mm -hmm. have you have three exercises right now on that little chart that you will perform in groups. So you can use basically everything that we have seen. Now, paired conjunctions, there's a lot of paired conjunctions. It's just a matter of putting together two conjunctions, two connectors. Okay, that's all. 
Okay, do your best. I'm going to split you for a few minutes so you can perform these exercises. Teamwork, teamwork, don't forget that. Three see. sentences, teacher. Oh uh, no, look at your WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Go to your WhatsApp. First, you will find the explanation, a brief, very resumed explanation of both and ah, okay. either or. Let me see, neither nor. Not only, but also. You have the explanation, very brief explanation of the four. And the next drawing is the first exercise. The first exercise is match the phrases to make complete sentences. For example, both Renoir, that's number one, both Renoir, what is the right literal? What's, what is the, the right letter that goes with number one? You need you need some culture. But, a, but also with my friends. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, Adriana. And band and band go where great artists. Yes. And I'm sorry, both. Both Renoir, Renoir, uh, Renoir and Van Gogh were great artists. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Okay. Renoir. Okay. And Van Gogh. So you just need to put the sentences together on that one. You already have number one goes with letter B. Now, on letter B, write the sentences using the words given in brackets. For example, number one, neither nor. I don't like either pop or rock music. So what do you do in that case? I don't like either pop or rock music. And you need to use neither nor. <laughs> Adita, Carla. I neither. I, uh -huh. Ana? I neither like Ana either. I neither like uh huh pop pop nor rock nor music. rock music perfect that's it it is a negative sentence so you don't need to use um the connectors and the negative auxiliary right you don't say I don't neither no 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 I neither like pop nor rock music that's it. As simple as that. Letter C, are, are these sentences correct or not? Put a tick or a cross and write the, the incorrect sentences and rewrite, rewrite the incorrect sentences. Okay, but I'll leave you thinking on that one. Okay, what is a thick, a tick? A check mark, a little check mark, if it is good, an X, if it is bad, okay, if it is wrong. Okay, but let's work together. Let's get together right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Do what it does, teacher. I don't get it. It, it, it specifically the, the task. You don't get the task. Is sectionated. The first picture, the first screenshot on WhatsApp, is just the explanation of the four. Um, uh, please don't. Well, don't project that if you may. <laughs> Well, anyways, <laughs> let's see. So the first part is the explanation, how to use both and, either or, neither nor, not only, but also. 
That's it. Okay. It's just the explanation. Now, the letter A, the second screenshot says, match the phrases to make complete sentences. So we said number one goes with letter B. Number two goes with, I don't know, letter, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's exercise A. Exercise B, you have to rewrite the sentences using what you have on the brackets. It's the, per, the pink, the pink and the blue. Do you see it? Pink and blue light? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Uh -huh. That's simple. Just follow the instructions on each screenshot, okay? Okay, we get it. You can share the screen, don't worry. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Okay, what's up? Eh, excuse me, speak Spanish. Eh, mando do foto, man. Tres. 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 Uh -huh. Bueno, la número uno es sobre el tema, sobre el bot, el líder, los ejercicios son en la tercera foto o también en la segunda. Um, no tengo... A ver, la primera solo es una explicación. Uh -huh. Ok. Exerto, me está preguntando lo mismo. Exercise uh -huh. A. Okay, mm -hmm. and exercise B, mm -hmm. and C. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. The number one is both renoir, renoir. Not only. But also, yes, mm -hmm. the weather was not only cold, but also wet. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four, letter G. Yes. Number five, you can get there. Either, Either by plane or boat. Yeah. Either by plane or both. Yes, selection only one. Mm -hmm. Yes, number yes. number five. Letter F. Okay. I travel not only with my parents, but also with my friends. But also with my friends, yeah. Number six, letter D. Okay, in the last number, neither Jeff. Neither Jeff. Letter A? Nor, no, letter A. Nor Alan know how to swim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, letter number seven, letter A. Okay, complete the first part. Complete. The second? It's right now to write the sentences using the clues. In my case, Uy, what happened with Rosie? Um, Teacher, what happened with Rosie? I don't know. I think she got disconnected, but she's not on the on the queue waiting. No está en la línea esperando. Okay. I guess she lost her connection, but as soon as she come back, I will put her on this group, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, the next 
exercise is rewrite the sentences using yeah. the words given in brackets. They're not. Um, I neither 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 I neither like I neither like pop nor rock music. In number two, both in and. Both Carla. She's going to spend the summer either in London or no or okay. Paris or yeah. Paris. Four. That decision will affect our class and the world school. Uh, that decision and not the, only the whole what? the whole whole. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the decision uh, will affect not only our class, mm -hmm. but also whole school. Whole school, yeah. No, I Tom has lived in London on, or Manchester. Ayrton Ayrton has lived in London or Manchester. Tom has either lived in London or Manchester. I think. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Uh, six. Jim is a doctor. Mary is a doctor too. Both Jim and Mary and are no. Sorry, both Jim and yeah. Both Jim and Mary are doctors. Seven. I'm not going to work today. Susie isn't going a either. Either. Um, neither I, I won't. I'm going to neither. work. Neither mm -hmm. I going mm -hmm. to work today. Mm -mm. Mm. Is it the I same verb? Is it the same verb? It's the same verb, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Which one is it? I'm sorry. Uh, what did it say, sorry? What's the number? Seven. Seven. Seven of letter A. Yeah, letter B. Oh, let her be. Okay. Uh huh. Wow. I'm not going to work today. Susie isn't. Susie isn't going either. Either. So it's the same verb. Work. Yeah, it's... Uh, uh... And you, you're, you're, you're being asked to use neither nor. So. Mm -hmm. Neither. Neither I and Susie. Neither, Neither I nor Susie. Neither I nor Susie going to work. Are going to work. Are going are, to work. Are going to work today. Oh, I is that work. okay? I wonder. Neither Susie <laughs> nor I are going to work. That sounds weird, right? Really, I can I can do another. Uh, I can't. 
I can do another. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that sounds weird to have yo primero, el burro por delante. Ah, okay. Susie, <laughs> but, but nor that's the I. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's like. Yeah. But uh, the sound sounds better. Not, neither I nor Susie are going yeah. to work today. Okay. Today. I, okay. Okay. Letter C. Are these sentences correct or not? Put that tick or across and rewrite the incorrect sentence. Rubbish can either be recycled and reduced. Rubbish. 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 Mm. Basura. Rubbish can either be recycled or reduced. Yes, it is correct. Rubbish? It's either. A uh -huh. Yes. Rubbish either be recycled and reused. Okay. Yeah, rubbish number. can either. Yeah. So number, number two. This job will be done either mm -hmm. by him nor her. This job will be done neither by him nor her. This job will be done neither, neither by him or nor her. I don't know if that's correct or not. It or rock music. No, music. I neither. Oh, I'm going to review my page. See, I neither. Mm -hmm. Lie. I need a lie. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pop. No. No rock music. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, give me a moment. I did so. I did so. I neither. It's correct, teacher. No. <laughs> like. I neither like nor rock music. By number two, Carla was called. In I neither like. I'm sorry, Walter, you were talking to me. I'm sorry. Number one, right? I don't like yes. either pop or rock music. Uh, we did it. Uh, I neither, need, I neither I, like I, uh -huh, pop or pop nor. Nor rock, rock music. music. That's right. Okay. Okay, keep going. Thank you, teacher. By number two. Okay, number two. Carla was cold and hungry. Mm. Carla. 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 And but e mm, Carla was both cold and hungry. Carla, but both. And hungry. Excuse me, no. This could be. Okay. And both Carla wax cold and hungry. <laughs> what? Excuse me. <laughs> 
Carla was cold, cold and hungry. Here's. By number three. Number three. <laughs> She's going to spend the, the summer in London for parties. Bye. Either or. Either Is the second is the second is a mm -hmm. the number three? La numero dos, como dijo, excuse me. Uh, Carla was both cold and hungry. Carla was both cold, both cold and both hungry. Cold, okay. Cold and hungry. Okay. Uh -huh. Y la número tres sería, she's going to spend the summer in London or Paris. And either or. Remember, cake chip. Oh, mm, cool. The teacher, what is the translate? Translate the translation of the translation of the either or. Ya sea. Ya sea. Ah, okay. In this case, Tom either has lived in London or Manchester. Oh, Tom has lived in London. Yes, Tom either, ya sea. Ya sea. Es, puede tomar diferentes significados. Recuerda que en inglés no es textual. En uh -huh. ese ejemplo, ¿qué sería lo más adecuado? Tom. Uh, ¿Qué entiende usted? Eh, Tom ha vivido en London o Manchester. Así nada más. Ajá. Tom ha vivido en London, en Londres o Manchester. Uh -huh. Podría decir Tom ha vivido ya sea en Londres o Manchester. Ok. Porque me es, me es más fácil entender la negativa. Tampoco sí. me parece yeah. como más en, en mi cabeza, ¿no? o sea, <laughs> <laughs> en mi cabeza. That's okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Don't have sleep. Okay, the other, Gabby. Jean is doctor. Okay. Marie is doctor too. Okay. Both Jim and Marie is a doctor. Are a doctor. Are a doctor. Oh, is oh, is doctor is right. In in example. Remember, I, is it in singular or in plural? In the example. In singular. It's in singular, so is right. Mm. Jim is a doctor. Marie is a doctor too. When we combine the sentence, both Jean and Marie are are, are doctors. I I I um, wrote no. I read teacher example with the the, the verbs using in in singular. Yes. 
it's a different example, but in this case, you're using the connector end. So I could say all of them, Gabriela, Ana, Rosa, mm -hmm. and Sandra are doctors. Yeah. Okay. So both okay. Jim and Mary are, I'm sorry, both Jim, Jim and Marie are doctors. Both Jim and Marie doctors are doctors. In plural, in plural, the doctors too, yes. Yep. Thank you. Se usaría singular si utilizáramos not only, but also. You got it. No. Yeah. Okay. Sí, si ocupo both and, no tendría sentido ocupar el singular, decía el ejemplo la vez pasada, porque estoy uniendo do, dos pronombres con el en. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Se vuelve un solo pronombre, ¿eh? Right? Right. Good, good, good job. Hey, ah, le envié la invitación a Roselena para que se uniera a este grupo, pero... No rechazó. Oh. <laughs> no dejaron. <laughs> No, uh, I think she's still having problems with the internet. Okay. So, okay, keep going. You're almost done. You're you're only missing letter C. Well, one more on letter B and, and then letter C, right? Yes. Good, good job. Yeah, yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. And um, the, the, the last, the letter, the section B, Javi, mm -hmm. neither nor. Okay. I'm going to work today. Susie is going either. Are you done? Yes, this is. <gasps> okay, any doubts? Any doubts about the topic? Mm, no, not well, uh, maybe not with the sentences. Mm -hmm. But? No, I don't remember if I have a doubt. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you got them all right. We think so. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We're almost there. Give me just a minute. I'm just giving some time to your other classmates because they are almost done. Just two more minutes. In London or Manchester. How? Okay. You know, you know, uh, my don't have it. number four. Como pusimos el uh, either um, aha, uh -huh, Tom has lived either in London or Manchester. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Después del verbo. Sería Tom. Tom. Has. 
leave, leave. Either in London, I uh, know. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Or my. Let me see. Sería. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mira, que me Sería. Don. Oh, Tigo or Claro. Oh my God. So difficult when you have problems with the internet. I don't know what happened here, but I, I'm, I'm here with my cell phone because my computer, the internet doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't work? work? Yeah. Doesn't jalar this. Yeah, no jala. <laughs> <laughs> No tiene carbón. Oh my God. ¿Sabe qué eso pasaba? Oh my God. Si me pusiera a contarle. Un latino con una laptop mini y no se me olvida. Primer día en soporte técnico en español. Después de estar cuatro años dando soporte técnico en inglés, me pasan a la línea de español. Ya lo último que viví en esa empresa. Y, y un latino y le digo, mire, tiene que quitarle la batería a la a la computadora, dice, pero oye, tú estás loco, me dice, ¿qué batería? Esta cosa no tiene batería, güey, que no sé qué, el mexicano, y terco, y terco. no, pásame tu supervisor, tú no sabes nada de computadora, que no sé qué, yo, no, señor, sí, de verdad, y pues, se me sale el acento, no, señor, sí, de verdad, tiene una batería, ¿qué apostamos? Me dice, Te apuesto mil pesos a que, a que no tiene batería esta cosa. Me... dólares. Y entonces, total que lo convencí. Ah, ya cuando le enseñé cómo quitarla. Se quedó. Oh, pues mira las cosas que aprende uno, ¿verdad? <risa> Me envía la sangre. Lo mejor de todo es que le sale bien el acento. <risa> Me debe mil dólares, de hecho. <risa> Ay, me encanta el acento mexicano, pero es una mala maña que tengo. Mi esposa me vive cuidando las cosillas con el codo cuando vamos a un Zulután o lugares así. Rapidito le agarro el acento a la gente. Ok, so let's see. ¿Cuál es el acento de un Zulután? No, o sea, que, que la gente sí, pues, de bien lejos. Empieza de... Ay, no. Estaba, 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 estaba Pachito el río. Ajá, cosas así como... Mira, pero es que aquí está bien en granito, también en granito, en está la vaca, ¿verdad? Y sí, pues sí, aquí te puede venir y tomar leche cuando te quiera, me dice. La que... Oye, primo, sí, pues, oye, sí. primo, ven. Exacto, cabrón. <risa> Un montón de jotas ahí, pero no sé qué dijo. <risa> ok. <risa> hey, oye, primo, ven, ven. <laughs> y de tú hablan, eso es cierto. Okay, guys, let's see the answers for your exercise. Let's see if you made it. Um, so the first part, we said both Renoir and Van Gogh were great artists. Who can read the second one? Number two. 
Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Arena. Okay. Number two, she doesn't know yet. It's either a boy or a girl. Excellent. So that one goes with letter E. Okay. What's number three? Mm -hmm. Excellent, Carlita, number three. No, teacher. Mike, neither. Or Mike, neither. <laughs> drinks nor nor smokes nor smokes very good excellent uh-huh edwin number four the weather the weather was not only cold but also wet <laughs> yes that's weird to hear it was cold but also wet okay yes, perfect kind of weird yeah but that's yeah, true because... i mean can you have cold weather without being wet? Um, September, oh yes. October, Hi. hey, October in El Salvador. It's very wind, windy and it's not wet, right? October winds, come yeah. on. Okay, let's see, that's number four. Uh, what about number five? Someone, Nelson, Ophelia, Adriana, Flor. Walter, uh, Pamela, Sandra. Rosalina. You know, I, I just want to say this because yeah. I, I, I saw a post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. the, the winds the winds are coming in this October because uh, the last years, there are no winds in October. There, there were winds no. Going, yeah, in another month, like November, even December. But these years, um, the weather report oh. says the this this year it will be the the right one to be October with the winds so the winds come back again so yeah la, la, la today, yeah today was very windy actually in the afternoon that's delicious that's amazing weather to have yes, babies five, to have babies right Nelson <laughs> okay Nelson number five <laughs> you can get five. there you can get you can get there uh, eight Either you plane or boat. Either by plane or boat. Repeat. You can get there either by plane or boat. Either by plane or boat. Again, plane. Plane. Or boat. Or boat. Perfect. Good. Very good. Number six. Ada. <laughs> um, I travel not only with my parents. Um, but also with my friends. That was easy. Good job. And number seven, brought to you by Gabriela Ta, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, neither Jeff nor Alan know how to swim. Excellent. Very good. Before we go with letters B and letter C, let me do the attendance really quick. It's really late. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Quienes no tienen encendida la cámara, por favor, enciéndela, por favor. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Yep. Flor Bye. de María Carpa Yogarte. Bye. Present, teacher. Thank you. I didn't hear you, Flor. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Gabriel Ignacio Lara. He's not here today. Does anybody know Gabriel? No, nobody works with them. Gabriel. Okay, good. Uh, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. She's there, right? 
Yeah, okay. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. She got disconnected too. Some of you are having problems. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Yeah. Ofelio Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Yeah. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Wake up. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Yeah. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandrita was around. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera is not with us tonight. Stephanie, Susana are missing. Julia as well. And Gabriel. Okay, so moving on uh, with the corrections. Let's see. Next sentence. Pay attention to your chart. Rewrite. Rewrite these sentences using the words given in brackets. Number one. I don't like either pop or rock music. We said that one was. Exactly. I neither like pop or rock music. Good job. Number two. Okay. <laughs> and it's laughing. I like that. Number two. Carla was cold and hot. Hungry. I know they say angry, senor. Okay. Hungry. Carla was called in hungry. Uh huh. Floor. Carla was called in hungry. Both and. Carla was both cold and all hungry. Mm -hmm. And hungry. Hungry. Yeah. Hungry. Carla was. So. Excuse me. Carla was both. Carla was both cold and hungry. Right? Carla was both cold and hungry. Number three, Flor de Maria Carvalho, please. She's going to spend the summer Sorry, in London. Sorry, teacher. Or... I don't know the... what we're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a problem. Don't worry. You didn't work in couples. I got it. Let's see. Number three. Three, Edwin, would you like number three? She's going to spend the summer in London or Paris. Um, yes, teacher. Um, either she's going to spend the summer in London or Paris. Hmm. It may it, it doesn't for me. I'm not sure if it's like that because I don't know if I'm using the correct form. You actually did it right, but let's see. She's going to spend the summer mm -hmm. either or, either in London or Paris. Yes. Okay, let's see. She's either she's either going to spend the summer in London or Paris. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense, right? Makes sense. Yeah, the order the order of the avocados doesn't affect the scrambled eggs. <laughs> the guacamole. Okay. Uh, number four, Nelson, are you there? Pamela, Adriana, Ophelia. Number four. Sure. Um, that decision will affect not only our class, but also the whole well, school. Good, the whole school. Mind this, guys. Listen, th that decision will affect not only our class, but also the whole whole school, whole, whole grain, whole, okay? The whole day, the whole day, that's very useful, a lot. Okay, number five, Tom has lived in London or Manchester, Gabriela. Okay, uh, Tom has lived in London or Manchester. Good job. Um, an observation you have uh, some of you are are 
having difficulty with these words is just neither, either, either. That's it. Either, either, neither, neither, nor, nor. That's it. Let's see, number six. Carita, please. Um, Jim, Jim and Mary both are a doctor. Hmm. Both are? Both. Both. Adriana, huh? Both Jim and Mary is a doctor. Are doctors. Are, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Both Jim and Mary are doctors. Uh -huh. That's an option. Ana Selmi, do you have it like that? Both Jim and Mary, and I'm sorry, both Jim and Marie, Marie are doctors. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and I said, you have number seven. I'm not going to work today. Susie isn't going either. Mm, I'm not going to work today. Mm. Neither Susie. Hmm. Think, no. twice. Think twice. Think twice. I'm going. I'm going to work today. North. North Susie. Either. Mm. Mm. We have a negative on the, on both sides. I'm not going to work today. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work today. No, no, I'm sorry. Either, either I'm uh, going oh, but to you work have to, today. You have to use neither nor. Yes, neither, mm -hmm. I, oh, neither I'm going to work today, nor Susie. Either. No, 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 nor Susie. Nor Susie. I That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So again, okay. neither I'm going to work today, nor Susie. Nor Susie, yeah. Yeah. In that example, you have to say neither I'm going to work today, nor Susie is. Nor Susie nor is. Susie no, no, is. wait, wait, wait. Nor is Susie. Nor is Susie. Always. Remember that part where the auxiliary comes to the front? There is no. where we apply it. So neither I'm going to work. You know what? Hold up. Give me a minute. Neither am I going to work today. Nor Susie. Nor is Susie. Nor is Susie. Again, neither am I going to work today. Nor is Susie. Nor is Susie. That should be the right way applying that part where neither nor you have to move the auxiliary to the front. By the way, which which grammar tense are we using in that sentence? I'm not going to work. What is the grammatical tense? It's me, baby, me perito, few, 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 future. Exactly. Very good. I really like you made it. Good job. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know the answer. Yes, that simple future, guys. So the auxiliary is the verb to be. So we move it to the front. Again, neither am I going to work today, nor is Susie. Nor is Susie. Applying that rule. Okay. Letter C, just to close this part. Rubbish. Hmm. Rubbish can either be recycled and refer reused. I was going to say refurbished and reused. Again, rubbish can either be recycled and reused. Is that correct? No. Why? What is the right sentence? Um, that pair conjunction, the either is um, or in the mention and the sentence is and incorrect. 
It's incorrect. And is incorrect. Thank you. So what is the right because sentence? In, in which case the, the structure of the sentence, the grammatical and the structure of the sentence is a first conjunction after verb. Hmm. The first conjunction, no, before the verb, because can is oh, the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the, the verb to be? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. So. Yeah. But in the case in the verb to be, is, is first verb to be and after the conjunction. If it is conjugated, not like that. If you notice, we have um, a model, right, can rubbish can either be recycled or reused or reused. That's right. Okay, so yeah, if you conjugate it, rubbish is either recycled or reused. Si quitamos el modal sería rubbish is either is either recycled or reused. Oh, sí. <laughs> Aquí no estoy hablando del cero estar, sino del poder ser. Can either be. Can either be. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's no. Ese es el modal. El verbo principal sería be. Good job. Good job. Así. Mm -hmm. Piensa en eso. Good job. Okay. Next sentence. This job will be done neither by him nor her. Let's see this job. Do you think that's right? Es el mismo tema que estamos hablando con Ana Selmi, con lo que tanto nos estamos encontrando. ¿Será que está mal en la oración? This job will neither be done by him nor by her. Ok, y volviendo al punto anterior. Si nota la estructura. Auxiliary, yes. yes, you have will as an auxiliary. And before you had can. Yeah. Okay, can, will. It's a model. Exactly. Will is a model too. Have. Will is model too. Uh -huh. So compare. Compare number one with number two, Anasen. This job will neither be done mm -hmm. by him nor by her. Nor her. No by. <laughs> nor, no, no, uh, nor her. So, the, perfect. You got it. This job will neither be done by him nor her. Her. Okay. <laughs> now you, you got it, right? Right. Yes. It's just a matter of what is a model, what is a verb. That's fine. Okay. Number three. She's one of those people you either love, also hate. Creo que la mayoría no terminó este ejercicio. Incorrect. <laughs> Is incorrect, Sandra? Why? Give us the yes. right, the right one. She's Aiden, one of the three. Aiden para us. Either uh, or. Either or. So she's one of those people you either or. love or hate. Or hate. That is correct. So you cannot say either also. Okay. Doesn't make sense. Number four, she not only wrote a successful book, but also became a famous actress. Wrote a, wrote a, she not only wrote a successful book, but also became a famous actress. Will that be all right? Is it okay? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. That's number four. Number five, both Alex, but also Matilde want to become scientists. Incorrect. 
Okay, what's the right answer other than that? Because uh, both is win and in the me in in, in the sentence um, in current is but also. Mm, okay, so what is the right sentence? Not only. Mm. Mm -hmm. Falta not only. Mm -hmm. That's another way of seeing it. So let's see. With Adriana's observation, oh. both Alex and Matilde want to become scientists. That's one option, right? Both Alex and Matilde want to become scientists. Hey, now, the other option Sandra is saying, uh, not only Alex, but also Matilde want to become scientists. You can use both. That's right. I can, I can both. Yes, you can use to, to both pause? things. Okay. You can use both. That's right. Okay, let's see. We neither study German or Spanish. Mm -hmm. Correct, teacher. It's incorrect, understand? Yeah. What's the no. right sentence? No. no. Can neither you say? No. It? Can you repeat it? We neither study German nor Spanish. Perfect. Nor Spanish. Nor Spanish. Nor. No. Nor. No. Nor Spanish. There you go. Good job. And last one. He's not only a good student but also a good sportsman. Nelson, where are you? Right. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. Are you now good? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Wow. I think we we got a clearer now. That's really good. I think tomorrow we're gonna start with a different topic. You know what is a millennial? No. No. Yes. Idea. Okay. So that's kind of the next topic on, on your agenda. So before we move on, let's talk about weather. Weather and weather or not. Estas dos uh, per conjunctions. Ahorita, vamos a ver. Uh, ahorita les envío la definición prácticamente. Let's see. So we have weather versus whether or not. Para empezar, whether es una conjunción que se puede traducir como sí. Así nada más, sí. Ok, ojo con la escritura, porque la pronunciación de esta conjunción de este conector, digamos, eh, se pronuncia muy similar o igual que whether. Ok, la escritura es diferente y el significado es totalmente diferente. So, lo que estamos viendo weather, es... Weather, uh, with... With ¿Con H. cuál otra palabra? With uh, Sí, es una sola palabra. Weather, así como se ha escrito, H, lleva dos H, ¿eh? Weather, por sí solo quiere decir sí, pero no de afirmación, sino de posibilidad. Ok, no de condicionante, ojo, solo es posibilidad. Ok, y la segunda opción que vamos a ver es whether or not, que típicamente un americano la va a ocupar por sí sola, y vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Ese whether or not es una frase que se puede traducir prácticamente como sí o no. Ok, so veamos, vamos a comenzar con whether y... La primera opción es como para, para expresar duda u opción. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir, no sé si lo voy a hacer hoy o mañana. Tendría que decir, I don't know whether I am going to do it today or tomorrow. Y ahí es y, donde lo aplicamos como lo pide su libro. Hola. Y the weather is... Mm, the means the, the same if. If. Uh, sí, pero no como condicionante. No, como condicionante. Si lo nota, y aquí okay. quiero, quiero hacer mucho énfasis en esto, ¿eh? porque ya tuve una clase de avanzado 6, donde tenía una alumna que me le decía, uh, is your name Laura? 
Y me decía, if teacher, if. Yo, no, yes, yes. If, if teacher. Bien confundida. Se lo traté de aclarar, pero igual. No se pudo. Let's see. I don't know whether I'm going to do it today or tomorrow. So, de nuevo, whether va unido con or en esta oración. Si fuese condicionante el que estuviese utilizando, cambiaría el contexto de lo que estoy diciendo. Aquí tengo dos opciones. No estoy condicionado. Si le pongo if, estaría dejando ver que ya que si sí hay algo que me está condicionando a, a no hacerlo case ahora. Of the conditional sentence is indistinct, indistinct, how you say indistinto? In a different way or? In a different way, we mm -hmm. use the weather and if in the conditional sentence. Uh -huh, that's different. I don't know if I am going to do it today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yes, it's it's up to the weather. Para que quede un poco claro eso. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow. It's up to the weather. Yo tengo que aclarar un poco más, ¿no? ¿Qué me condiciona? El clima. Right? Good. Also, also you are expressing a doubt. Right. You're expressing a doubt. Between, between uh, a doubt or a choice between two alternatives. Correcto, correcto. Mm -hmm. So that's the first option to use whether or. La segunda opción uh, sería para expresar indagación. Okay. Por ejemplo, voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. ¿Cómo dirían eso ustedes? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda aquí? Voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. No idea. Volviendo al ejemplo de Ana Selmin, qué bueno que lo tocó. Al, eh, vamos oh, a ver. Uh, Muy textual. Okay. Ajá. I, I will say no. Ve, veamos, démosle. I, I will see whether, I will see. whether mm -hmm. he's at the office. No, he's. No, porque no sé si es she or she. <risa> ah, correcto, muy bien. Ajá, no sé. Digamos que bueno, sea ella. Si está ella. en la oficina, pero ¿quién es lo ella? Voy a, a tratar, dice, voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. Esa es la oración. Voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. I will try, I will try. <risa> yes, 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 yeah, I, will I will try. try. Whether, huh? whether, mm. no, I don't know. Mm. Whether is is at the office? De nuevo, voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. How how can I say averiguar? <laughs> averiguar. Find out. <laughs> oh yeah, find out. So I will yeah. try to find out whether. Mm -hmm. Whether, oh, you see, whether it's, it's, yeah, yeah, la duda, si es ella o él, pero en el ejemplo es she. Okay, so I'll try to find out whether she is at the office. Okay. Teacher, teacher, whether use the uh, hold to see, yeah, whether use call to see. Or yes? Whether Or, se usa como sí? Ah, es lo que estábamos explicando, correcto. Sí, pero no de condicionante. Sí, but the expression of doubt. Ajá, expresando una duda, Susana. Perdón, eh, Sandra. Sandra. Sí, expresando una duda. En este caso, en este caso decía para expresar indagación. Es decir, para expresar que voy a ir a indagar. Suena raro, ¿no? Yes. Es como cuando uno le dice a alguien, espérame, voy a ver si está por ahí. Déjeme ver si está. Tu vengo, le dice. 
<risa> Voy a tratar de averiguar. Esa es la traducción textual de, de esa oración que estábamos haciendo. Vamos a ver. Voy a tratar. Uy, los dos veces. Los Voy a tratar de averiguar si está en la oficina. Para empezar, vamos por secciones y quiero que vean esto, lo que acaba de hacer Rosalena y lo que acabamos de hacer con Rosalena. Analizar parte por parte de una oración cuando quieras traducir. Voy. Solo decir voy, ya estoy hablando de. Voy a tratar. O ocupo. Yo voy a ser ocupado el going to. Ajá, I think I'm going to try. Porque si no, tendría que decir. Trataré. I will try. I will try. Ajá. Will try. Ojo, eh. Pero en este caso es I'm going. En ese uh -huh. caso, I'm hubiese going. sido I'm going to. Correcto. Uh -huh. I'm going, I'm to, going try to try. To find out. To find Lo out. que me decía Rosalina, ¿cómo digo, ¿cómo digo averiguar? Find out. Yeah, forgot it. <laughs> find out how to say averiguar. Yeah. <laughs> find out how to say averiguar. Oh, averiguar, ¿cómo decir averiguar? Okay, yes. <laughs> o oh, inquiry. Uh, you didn't get the joke, no entendieron el chiste, pero bueno. Inquire. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Inquire. Find out. Look for the answer. Hay yeah. diferentes maneras. Ok. So let's see. Difficult. Indagar. Let's move on. La última de, de weather. ¿eh? Solo estamos viendo weather. Weather or. Para indicar que algo se cumplirá. Algo se cumplirá en cualquier caso. Usado frecuentemente con or. Esto se ocupa mucho con el or, no solo el weather. Para indicar que algo se cumplirá en cualquier caso. Eh, no tiene traducción directa. Dice el ejemplo. Alicia se decidió. Va a renunciar. Consiga o no el otro trabajo. Ahorita se los pongo ahí. Vamos a ver quién lo traduce primero. Ahí se los pongo. No lo metan al traductor, señores, por favor. Come on, try it. Hagan el ejercicio que hicimos ahí con Rosalena. Alicia se decidió, dice, dos puntos. Va a renunciar, consiga o no el trabajo. Y volviendo con, con Sandra, ese sí, Sandra, incluso está implícito. Por eso dice, no hay una traducción directa. ¿Dónde está, la, ¿Dónde está implícito ese sí en el verbo conseguir? Eso de consiga o no. Ahí está implícito el sí o no. Siempre va, solo que va como disfrazado. Ajá, no se expresa ni en el español tampoco. ¿eh? Alice decide she's, mm -hmm. going, she's going to quit. She's going to, to quit. Uh -huh. How do you say se decidió in English? Decide. No. Mm, se decidió. Ali took a decision. Mm -hmm. Y aquí es donde viene entrando el avanzado 2. Y entonces empezó a estudiar los verbos frasales que mandó el teacher. Ok, so Ustedes me dicen, Alice decided, vamos, alguien que lo escriba, Alice decided to quit, dice Nelson, to quit. Uh -huh. Ok. Weather. Yeah. Weather. Weather. Ojo, oh, weather. 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 Uh -huh. Obtain. Teacher. Obtain the. Get the job. Get. ¿Y el sujeto? <laughs> whether, whether, she, oh, no, get, no, no. whether she, get, she gets, she gets get. the job or, or not. She gets <laughs> yes. or not. <laughs> That was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Ven por qué les digo, se tienen que hablar ustedes solos. Así de verdad. Ah, en el caso Ajá. que están haciendo una ponencia, porque eso les va a ayudar a encontrar sinónimos entre get, uh -huh. obtain, acquire. Ok. Yeah. Let's see. Phrasal verbs. Made up. Yes. Made up. Yeah, I, I remember made that song. Up. Make it to my, made it up. Oh, you remember? I told you, right? Yeah. Oh, make remember. up your mind. Make up your yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> Cuando fuimos al supermercado, up. Rosalina. <laughs> yeah, remember? I remember. 
Make yeah. my dog to my dog. Yeah, that's a song. I make a decision. Oh my god. It's okay. Uh, Let's see. Alicia <laughs> has made up her mind. Listen how beautiful it sounds. Alicia, Alicia has made up her mind. Yes. She'll English, resign. She will resign. English, She'll resign. English has a lot of phrasal verbs that sounds yeah. very spectacular. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So again, yes. Alicia, Alicia has made up her mind. She'll resign whether or not she gets this other job. Oh. The other job. Okay. The other but job. But can I other. say uh, quit? Mm. No. No. We were wrong. We why? were wrong. Why? And the same why? Resign. Is it the same? I quit. You see there, quit. Yeah, it's the same, right? I quit. So let's see. Alicia has made up her mind. She'll quit. Yeah. She'll quit. She'll resign. Okay, here's the difference. If mm -hmm. you quit to a job, you do it in a bad way. You end up bad. I quit. Bye-bye. Okay. Never come back. Okay. But if you resign, you have a letter. Oh, yes. You get a letter. Yes. Here's in a my formal way. Yes, this is a formal yeah, way. Resign is in a formal way. Quit is like a, like my boss. In bad terms. Like a muchacha. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Okay. I, I quit. Understand. I quit. Goodbye. That's, right. That's it. Great job. Okay. Uh huh. Now your fire is different. Okay. Whether or not she gets this on other job. So questions so far so good. Mm -hmm. So far so good. It's it's good. It's okay. Yeah, I I I'm in that in that occasion. I I understand more. That this time I understood topic. better. Yeah. This time, like. <laughs> <laughs> the previous times I was lost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. This is easier, actually, and it's more common. Let's finish with the use of whether or not. Strictly, strictly, strictamente, strictly whether or not. So the first option, I'll just send it to you right now. Let's see. Si o no. Okay. Si o no. No sé si ah, valdrá la no. pena o no esperar tanto tiempo en la fila. De nuevo, no sé si valdrá la pena okay. o no esperar tanto tiempo okay. en la fila. No. ¿Qué? No sé si valdrá la pena o no esperar tanto tiempo en la fila. Gabriela, come on, Ada, Wilfredo, Flor de María, Wendy, Walter, Edwin, Sandra, Nelson, Ariana, Ophelia. Hey, Wilfredo. I think he, he sounded like he was driving, right? Today, today watching the Good Doctor, the series, I I listen that that word, vale la pena. It was amazing. It worked. <laughs> I, like yeah, I like it. Teacher, hey. good evening. Good evening. Uh, I I want to tell you that I I didn't arrive at home. I I came driving, but I only uh, I need I need to. Only hearing. I need to be hearing only. That's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Well, you're okay. Yeah, that's okay. So again, no sé si valdrá la pena o no esperar tanto tiempo en la fila. Gabriela. Alejandra. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether or not uh, it's worth wait um, 
way more time in the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good job. You made it. So I don't know whether or not, but you did you didn't use worth it. Whether or not it will worth, worth it will worth it. It will worth it. Mm -hmm. Waiting the row. Waiting. 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 Now, how do you say tanto tiempo in English? A lot of time. <gasps> Anna, send me. Oh my God. Hello. So long. No see. <laughs> right? Ya los han saludado ¿Eh? así. So long. No see. <laughs> Tanto tiempo sin verle. Se ve raro, pero sea americanos que sí lo hacen. So, so long, right? It could be. So But look at this. So long. So long. Uh, so long. Tanto tiempo. So long without seeing you, right? So long, no see. Because this is so long, no see. Okay, I don't know whether or not you were very close, Gabriela. Very good. I don't know whether or not it will be worth it. Porque ese it will, ya vieron, valdrá. Valdrá. Y esto es lo yes, que espero que, que su teacher worth. les haya explicado el, la diferencia entre va a valer o valdrá. Dos cosas diferentes. Va a valer sería it is going to be mm. worth it. Will mm. is it. Uh, will is agregar ese partículo, esa particular are ya al, al verbo de posibilidad. So, uh -huh. I don't know whether or not it will be worth it to wait in line for so long. Good, good, good. What happened to Anna? Tell me, I lost her. <gasps> She got disconnected. Okay. So this is the first option. When it is yes or no. Si o no. Si. Valdrá la pena o no. To, to do something. Can you make another example like this? How do you say it then? Can you translate? Um, no sé si funcionará o no. No sé si la televisión funcionará o no. Un momento, quiero moverme en el futuro. No sé si la televisión funciona o no. ¿Mm? No sé si la televisión funciona o no. I don't know. I don't know uh, what, whether, whether, or or not. Ah, falta el sujeto. Muy bien, Sandra. I don't know whether. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, world television. <laughs> whether war. the TV. Whether the TV war. Or not. Excellent. I don't know whether the TV works or not. I don't know whether the TV works or not. I don't know whether the TV works or not. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. No sé si aún te ama o no. No me gusta hacer esos ejemplos porque una vez me pasó que una niña se puso a llorar en el salón. I was like, ¿qué pasó? Es que acabé de terminar con el novio, teacher. Me dijo la otra y yo like, oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, it was just an example. <laughs> okay. Pero so, que eso, eso era, eso era cipote. Eso era cipote y aquí ya somos mayores, <laughs> yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah, aquí yeah. ya somos mayores, aquí vamos a sacar la botella de tequila, dice Waldo. Ya, ya estamos bien machucados, <laughs> ya, ya. <laughs> Has been beers. <laughs> oh Estamos my God. Estamos bien golpeados por la vida. <laughs> Algunos. Okay. Estoy pollo todavía. Let's see. So, 
Ajá, vamos a ver, pues, no sé si te amo o no. ¿Cómo era? No sé si aún te amo o no. Me suena Juan Gabriel. I don't know whether whether still mm -hmm. loves you. Ay. Subject, subject. I don't know. Oh, whether. Oh, he still loves you. Uh -huh. Or not. Perfect. I don't know whether he yeah. still loves you or not. Good. Yeah. Now help me. <laughs> Give me another another example. Another example. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Lost him, teacher. Lost, lost him. him. Lost. Him. Te amo? Loves him or no? Loves. Loves you. Uh -huh. Let me write it. Vamos, piensa en otro ejemplo. Can I say, no sé si lloverá el fin de semana. No. O no. Ajá, no sé si lloverá el fin de semana. O no. O puedo decir, no sé si lloverá el fin de semana. O saldrá el sol. No. No, no, no. no. Okay. Ojo con eso, tiene que terminar si con no el... Sé, ah, o no. O no. no uh -huh. sé si lloverá el fin de semana o no. Mm. No sé si trabajaré el fin de semana o no. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Alguien que traduzca la oración de Roselena? Y aquí es donde tú tienes que analizar rápido. ¿Qué tiempo gramatical está ocupando Roselena, Ada? No sé si trabajaré... El fin de semana. Futuro. Oh, no. Future. Perfect. Future. Future. I don't know whether. Un momento. ¿Es future con going to o con will? Will. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. Va, ajá. No sé si trabajar el fin de semana o no. A ver quién le escribe en el chat. Come on, guys. Come on. Vamos más dinámico. Alguien más que continúe el siguiente ejemplo en mm -hmm. español. En el chat. Come on, guys. I, I don't know whether I will work on weekend or not. Excellent. On the weekend. On the weekend. You could also say, I don't know if I will work the weekend or not. Mm. Not the preposition. On the weekend. Eh. I don't know if I will work the weekend or not. I don't know if I... We'll Repetition. work the winner. I don't know. Repetition. Yeah, right now. Let me write it. I don't know if I will. You can even contract this. I don't know if I'll work the weekend. Oh my God, my dyslexia. Wait, my, the weekend or not. I don't know if I'll work the weekend or not. I don't know if I'll work the weekend or not. There you go. I don't know if I will work in the weekend or not. On the weekend. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, on Friday. In the afternoon. In June. In December. At your birthday. At. In winter. In winter, in summer, good job. At your house. In the, in the evening? No, in your house. In the evening, parts of the day, very good. In oh. the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning. But at noon, at night, you got it. Okay, next, next, somebody else. Write a sentence in Spanish. Try to follow the context. Meanwhile, I'll send you a screenshot of the little can thing. I, yeah. Can I say? I I me no. I can was. I, can I, I say was... I I? Yeah, you can say. <laughs> I, I, I. Uh huh. Come many on. Get times, it. Many times it happens to me when I. Okay, lo voy a decir en español. Uh -huh. Puedo decir, puedo decir, um, 
eh, oh, eh, me imagino que el cajero automático aún no funciona. That is the position, I guess. I guess, the, I guess the ATM still doesn't work. I guess no. the ATM. Mm. I wonder, I wonder if. Yeah, I wonder if the, if the ATM, ATM still doesn't work. Or it doesn't work still. Doesn't work okay. still. That's, no. the, that's something else. I yeah. wonder whether or not the ATM mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. I wonder whether or not the ATM works. Y ese era el ejemplo okay. anterior, whether or not no. the ATM no. works. Okay. Si sí o no funciona el cajero. Okay. okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. We only have like three examples on the chat. Aún no he decidido si con no a París. No sé si habrá fiesta de Navidad. Okay. There, there no? you go. Do you have an example on the chat? Okay. Vamos, Rosalén, escríbalo en el chat. No sé si habrá fiesta de Navidad. Ah. Okay, give me the, the translation for that sentence that I just wrote on the on the chat. No sé si habrá fiesta de Navidad. Oh no, I'm sorry. Aún no me he decidido si ir contigo o no a París. Y la de Roselena, no sé si habrá fiesta de Navidad o no. Hay dos cosas ahí, el aún y no me decido. A ver, can I try, can I try to see? los veo bien pensativos a, lo, a las dos personas que tienen encendida la cámara aparte de Rosalina. A ver, aterrizamos una cosa juntos. ¿Qué tiempo gramatical tiene? No me decido. Bien. Mm -hmm. No, What tiempo dramático, el futuro, you? pasado, presente. No será, aún I no me decide. he decidido. Sí, ¿verdad? Es más apropiado decir no me he decidido aún. I aún no me he decidido. I, Heaven? I don't have made up. I, Heaven? I haven't made my nap. Haven't made up. My nap. My nap. Made, made up. <laughs> Muy bien, oh Anasemi. You got it. You got it, Anasemi. Ese era mi punto. Oh. So, de nuevo, I haven't made I up my made mind up. Mm -hmm. yet my mm -hmm. mind yet whether yet. whether or not I am going to you no hmm Whether or not going to the party, going to, I'm sorry. No, going 
going or not, whether or not going. Wait a minute. Whether going. I'm going. Or not with you to Paris. I can decide whether to cook pasta or meat. Good. Good, Gloria. That's a good example, too. No me, no, no me decido si cocinar pasta o carne. I can't decide. Es otro contexto. I can't decide. Ahora, ya estaría diciendo, no puedo decidir. No puedo decidir. No puedo. no puedo decidir. Ajá. Si cocinar si cocino, pasta, pasta o carne. Si cocino, no. Si cocinar. Whether to cook pasta or meat. Good example. Ahora, ahí está hablando de, de, de poder decidir. Ok. Uh, so, el ejemplo. Aún no me decido si ir contigo o no a París. I haven't made up my mind yet. Decían hacerme. I haven't made up my mind. Yet. Sí. El, ese yet es el aún. Ok. I haven't made up my mind yet. Whether going or not with you to Paris. Whether going or not with you to Paris. That's... Nelson is, is an accountant. I don't know whether pay tomorrow or not. Whether to pay tomorrow, whether pay tomorrow or not. Okay. No sé si habrá fiesta en Navidad o no. Habrá. I don't know. There. Volvemos al meollo. Excellent, be. excellent. So I don't know. I got no. this keyword. No. I don't know if whether, whether there, there will, will be. be a Christmas party. Christmas party. Or not. Or not. Mm -hmm. So again, I don't know whether there will be a Christmas party or not. Ese teclado, se me traban las teclas, se han puesto en duras, okay. I don't know whether there will be a Christmas party or not. You see? Now, how do I well, learn this? Said, hey. The, the other, I don't know whether there will be a bonus Christmas. Christmas, Christmas bonus. bonus? <laughs> or not? Not. <laughs> That's another example, yeah. Okay, I think we're clear with this. Look for more exercises, examples, so we can open the class tomorrow. Challenging a classmate, okay? Mañana que empezamos una clase, van a retar un compañero y le van a decir, Rosalina le va a decir, Ana Selmi. A ver, Ana Selmi, eso es yo. Dígame, <laughs> translate for me, please. You say the sentence, okay? A sentence. Okay. Yeah. It's a great idea. Okay, let me do the attendance tonight, Thursday. I'm staying. Dos cosas. Uno, eh, bueno, no solo hay un compañero y no ha venido, que no ha terminado el midterm. Eh, las inscripciones. Tengo que seguir haciendo hincapié con esto. El 4 de octubre es el último día para inscribirse al, para inscribirse al módulo A2. That's it. And tonight. Sí, hey. Uh, Sir Yuma. Say that's not the uh, answer for the give, give asks uh, ask the the result the, the pay the planilla the, the month, payroll the the and the payroll the, the August but in August August payroll the month, uh -huh. month August, but in the in the company in the in the pay at the end of the month. In the moment, in the moment is the end. Wait, mm -hmm. uh, yes, they need August's payroll. Yes, to to subscribe to the next model. That's true, I think. Yeah. Yes, the, the, the content, the, the, the resource, say me that the the Monday it send the document. Oh, they will send the documents on Monday. Okay. Yes. Monday is the third. So yes, the deadline. It's Tuesday. Uh, la fecha limite es el martes. Deadline. Deadline. Fecha limite. Okay. Let's go. Uh, tonight I'm staying with Sandra Gladys, I think. Were we together before, Sandra? Yes. Oh, yeah, right. So Stefan is not here. 
Susana was with me last time. Walter Mauricio was with me this time. Wendy, yay. Wendy, are you here? Yes, teacher. Will you stay 10 minutes? Okay, teacher. Hey, okay. Ada uh, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Thank you. You may go, guys. If I say your name, you may say bye. Okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Was here before. <laughs> Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. No. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ofelia Arellana Arce. Teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She got disconnected. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfredo. Good night. <laughs> night, guys. See you tomorrow. I'm so sorry. Okay. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, buddy. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Hello, Wendy Marisol. Wendy Marisol. What? <laughs> Wendy Patricia, how are you? Look, my teacher, I, 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 I am not Wendy Marisol. I know, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I don't know why, but every, every Wendy, I call them, you know, like Marisol for some reason. Maybe I met someone <laughs> with that name. Teacher, my, my computer in church. In, in and may, maybe say goodbye. The, <laughs> what? Because, Your charge is almost over? Yes. I don't know. Don't what. worry, it's just eight minutes. Talk to me. Okay, teacher. Well, um, my English is very, it's very slow. <laughs> What, what, how, how did Celia Cruz say that? I'm, oh my God, I want to know. Como dijo Celia? Azúcar, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> my oh, English is not very good looking. Está bien. <laughs> my English is not very good looking. Yeah, it's the same for me. <laughs> that, that's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wendy, I know you can speak. So, what's going on at home? How, how's the weather in Santa Ana tonight? No, today, no. Uh, no just, just very, very... Yeah, but how, how is it today? No.
<laughs> What's up? What was that? Your microphone. I was about to send you a gift. Yes, you're sorry, my computer. Rip. I know it. Recent page. <laughs> Ok, mire, necesito saber algo. ¿Qué ha estado haciendo para practicar inglés? Fuera de las dos horas, ¿se acuerdan de lo que hablábamos? Yes, teacher. Ah, ha estado viendo. Eh, en inglés veo lo, bastante videos en inglés. Mm. Eh, hay cosas que sí las entiendo, cosas que no. Eh, <ríe> estoy poniendo subtítulos, pero en inglés. Uh -huh. subtítulos en inglés porque hay palabras que, que las dicen tan rápido y las juntan que, que, que con los subtítulos se me hace un poquito más fácil lo que no estaba haciendo y lo que me dijo la vez pasada fue estar escribiendo como que las tres palabras diarias y, y lo de los tiempos tampoco entonces, entonces retomemos eso nada más eso es todo. Es lo que yo les he estado diciendo a la mayoría ahora. Eh, en especial a los que estuvieron conmigo desde el principio. Es como, o sea, si ya había algo y no lo sigo aplicando, es lógico que se me va a olvidar y cuando lo quiero utilizar no voy a saber cómo hacerlo, ¿no? So, Ajá. Sí, eso y... es. Fíjese de que, de que yo he notado algo que, que ahora yo sí logro entender pero cabal, como no tengo mucho vocabulario y, y las palabras, los tiempos no los tengo, no los logro organizar, entonces me cuesta. Por ejemplo, el ejercicio que estaban haciendo ahorita, el de, el, el de, el de whether, whether or, or not. Uh -huh, uh -huh. La, yo el contexto en sí, sí lo logro de, de poner en mi cabeza. Lo que pasa es que esas pequeñas palabras por ejemplo, el I will, el, el dice, ah, sí, yo sé que es futuro, la diferencia de, de going to, eh, o sea, esas son, son las pequeñas cosas que me confunden y, y que dice yo que tengo que, que reforzarlas. Uh -huh. Pero son como esas, esas uniones de las palabras eh, que, que son las que me cuestan, pero cabal, yo sé que eso lo, lo puedo hacer, solamente si lo practico, lo practico y y, y lo practico. Por eso, pero mire, alguien me decía anteriormente, no es que yo estoy viendo videos con subtítulos y solo en inglés. Yo oigo música solo en inglés. Aparte de eso, estoy leyendo dos libros en inglés. O sea, un montón de cosas y yo le digo, no, agárrese uh -huh. de una, la que más le guste o se acople más a su tiempo y que usted note que le está sirviendo. Es decir, Decía Einstein que cuando, cuando, algo, uh, cuando uno es bueno en algo, lo hace y, no, y el tiempo no se siente. Uh -huh. Cuando uno disfruta hacer algo, no se siente el tiempo. Y se lo dijo al hijo que aprendió a tocar el piano y entonces uh -huh. fue un bonito ese, esa, esa, esa idea, ¿no? Entonces, lo mismo les recomiendo a los alumnos. Eh, pues de las 10 cosas que estás haciendo, ¿qué es lo que más sentís que te gusta? Ah, uh -huh. me dicen algunos... Eh, Honestamente, traducir. O sea, siento que me está ayudando mucho a entender la estructura porque todos funcionamos así, Wendy. Los que hablamos español y aprendimos mucha gramática en español sin darnos cuenta o dándonos cuenta, nuestro cerebro tiene ya la capacidad de ubicar cada tiempo gramatical y darle lógica. Sí, al ese I will run. Yo... Correr. Lo único que identifico es el yo correr. Ahora me han dicho que will de futuro. Ah, entonces, ¿cómo le doy tiempo a esto? Yo correr. ¿Yo correré o yo voy a correr? Ah, es que los dos uh -huh. ah, futuro. Ah. Entonces, ese raciocino es así. ¿ve? Ese uh -huh. razonamiento es súper rápido. Entonces, sirve de mucho traducir. Sí, pero no es recomendable, pero sí se puede. Se puede. Uh -huh. Y el punto es ubicarse, que es el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo ahorita de último. ¿Por qué hablarles en español a alumnos de avanzado? Si aún... ¿Por qué esto? Por esto, porque a veces se les olvida eh, analizar rápidamente en qué tiempo se está hablando. Y así como usted ve una oración en español ahorita, las miren en su cabeza todos los días. 
cuando estamos en clase está intentando decir algo y en su cabeza están las palabras en español o las paso a inglés pues lo primero qué tiempo estoy queriendo utilizar uh -huh. ya bien piense eso y sí. si necesita ayuda para organizarse escríbame ok sí ¿Yes? teacher Ahorita estoy terminando un curso, es que también nos han puesto un curso de marketing digital en, en, la, en, la, en el trabajo, que es de un mes y medio, entonces llevo las dos cosas a la par y estoy como que, ah, es un no, no, no se puede hacer eso. Ese, sí. um, y en este mismo horario. No, ese ah. es solamente en plataforma, afortunadamente. Porque ah, no, usted y... tiene que ir avanzando a su propio ritmo. Ajá, cabal, pero mm. son cinco horas semanales las que tenemos que, que, que estar conectados. Y entonces, pero, pero, ¿sabes qué le voy a, le voy a, 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 estaba viendo unas imágenes que nos mandó también ahí para hacer unos ejercicios y me acuerdo uh -huh. que la vez pasada nos compartió un link uh -huh. que era como, como que le, le daba uno una flechita y le tiraba como, como desordenadas las oraciones o algo así creo que era. Entonces voy a... Haga voy lo a que hacer. haga, cualquier esfuerzo por mínimo que parezca, la va a acercar más a su meta hoy. Sí, teacher. Teacher, ¿cuántos módulos son de este? ¿Cuántos, cuántos Faltan son? cinco módulos para terminar eh, ya el curso completo. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Del, del dos al seis avanzado. Cada módulo dos va a tocar seis, mes, seis semanas, si lo han notado, ¿no? Cinco. Uh -huh. cinco no me acuerdo. Cinco. cinco. Ok. Bien, bueno, un placer tenerla de nuevo, la verdad, y después descanse. Ok, Gracias, ánimo, muchas. ánimo. Good night.